today we will discuss about the problems in the lift it is a very um, difficult uh, topic and uh, some students face difficulty in solving numerical problems related with the lifts we will discuss today uh, the cases related with there are some cases one by one i will tell the first one is the when the lift is at rest now if it is suppose that this is your lift okay and this is the man inside the lift there are two forces acting on it one force is its weight that is m into g that is its uh, gravitational force that is mg and other forces that is called reaction forces acting on it which is in upward direction reaction force always acts perpendicular to the surface on which the body is lie now the lift is at rest that means and uh, neither r is bigger or mg bigger that is r is equal to mg that is r is equal to mg where g comes for acceleration due to gravity and it has a value in si unit 9.81 meter per second square and if i am supposing that uh, um, cgs unit i should use then i will uh, place the value 981 centimeter per second square for the acceleration due to gravity so at rest if the lift is at rest r is equal to mg okay if the lift is at rest r is equal to mg okay now case number 2 when the lift is moving up or down with uniform velocity uniform velocity that means there is no acceleration and again if i am supposing that this is a lift there are two forces acting on it one is reaction force one is its weight mg acting downward so uniform velocity means that there is no acceleration there is no acceleration means that there is no net force acting on it of course there are two forces acting on it r and mg but they are equal to each other that's why the net force acting on it is zero okay so again i will say that here in this case 2 r is equal to m g okay the next case is case 3 when the lift is moving with acceleration in upward direction now here in this lift the lift is moving with acceleration with uniform acceleration a in upward direction so there must be a bigger force and there must be a smaller force that is there must be a net unbalanced force acting on the person inside the lift and if the system is moving in upward direction system is moving in upward direction so definitely r must be bigger in comparison to its weight mg so net force acting on the person inside the lift is equal to bigger force minus a smaller force that is equal to r minus mg therefore resultant force that is net force is equal to mass into acceleration we know very well that mass into acceleration is the force this must be equal to r minus mg that is m into a is equal to r minus mg that is if just we arrange it then we will get the expression ma plus mg is equal to r where minus mg is um, placed on the other sides so r is equal to m a plus g that is r is equal to m g plus a now suppose uh if the person is if the person is if the person is standing on a weighing machine inside the lift so a reading will appear over here that reading that reading on the weighing machine will be given by reaction force divided by acceleration due to gravity that is r by g will be the 
reading of the weighing machine and it is expressed in the gravitational units and uh, maybe if the its unit will be kilogram weight if we are using the in a SI system and uh, gram weight if we are using in the Celsius system okay the next case is case 4 when the lift is moving with acceleration in downward direction earlier I have told about the upward direction now I am talking about the downward direction here acceleration exists and acceleration has a value a the system is moving downward that is lift is moving downward two forces acting on it one is R that is reaction force and other is the weight of the person inside the lift that is M into G system is moving downward that is M into G must be bigger force to find out the unbalanced force we just subtract the bigger force with the smaller force bigger force Mg minus smaller force that is reaction force R resultant force we know very well that resultant force is equal to mass into acceleration where A is the acceleration mass into acceleration must be equal to mg minus r and uh, we just uh, place minus r on the other side then it becomes positive r and if we just place the expression ma on the right hand side it becomes minus ma and uh, we will find the value r is equal to m into in bracket g minus a again earlier i have told that reading will be equal to reaction force by acceleration due to gravity okay now next case is case 5 case 5 is when there is a deceleration a question may arise that uh, the lift is moving retarded with retardation with a deceleration of 5 cm per second square or 5 meter per second square how will we will uh, face that type of problem just in the expression in the above expression in the above expression we just replace the a by minus a and all thing will be same that is we should use the negative sign for deceleration or retardation that's the end of my lecture this is anup show thank you for watching me